Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video, and this one is going to be absolutely massive. So in this video, what you're basically going to see is David Yu saying that he's working on getting Pokemon, and then you're also going to hear Jeremy um, Jeremy Padawar, and he's going to be talking about how, um, well, he's not going to confirm if VV is working with them or not, but basically... Dan says something along the lines of we have started talking to these licensors three years ago and then Jeremy gets on a little bit later and then he, this is when he says, um, well, when they approached me three years ago and it's like, I mean, they, I don't know if they, I, well, they, obviously they didn't mean to do it like that, but yeah, they literally, what would they have been talking to Jeremy about and approaching him three years ago for if it wasn't for the Pokemon license and some of the other licenses that he holds? So um, yeah, this was just a lot. This was some hints at it. And then David, you literally said we're working on it. So, um, yeah, th this was just, this is just massive. So I think you all are going to enjoy this, but I did want to get on here and do this quick intro before we get into the video to let you all know that I've added some new links down below. I am going to be taking some time away. I have to go to a wedding, so I'm not going to be here for the next couple of days, but I have started a new group. If you want to support the channel in that way and you want direct access to me throughout the day, all day, every day then yeah, just hit me up there. I'll be giving um, some of my moves and letting you all know what I'm doing as far as VV, the collectibles. Um, yes, yeah, just, just stuff like that. Just a lot of conversations about investing and, and all that. So yeah, if you'd like to support the channel in that way and get a direct line of communication with me, be sure to check the links down below. Also, there's a lot of other helpful links as well as far as like improving your internet connection and things like that that I personally use that helps me secure all the drops and stuff like that. So I made sure to add all of these helpful um, links down below. And also, if you wanna support me on Patreon, the link is down below. It is an option. My content will always remain free, but I definitely appreciate those of you who are willing to um, help out the channel a little bit extra. So thank you all so much and hope you enjoy the video. This is a good one. Yes, uh, hello, David. Uh, I'm from Morocco. My name is Mohamed al Qadr bin Mustafa. My English is not good, good, but- um, That's fine. Okay, th thank you. Really, really good work. Vivi, amazing. Really, really good. In my area, people don't really have internet, but good work. Um, my question, uh, when Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> yes! I... <laughs> I'm glad I got you up here, bro. <laughs> the best way to yeah. end it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Listen, we 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 would not be announcing any um any any deal or any announcement through you know not in the pop proper forum. So if yeah, I mean I think I mentioned earlier to you guys all is that we as a company and we we got a lot of things we're fixing up in the app. We need to ensure this you know security is fine. We need to make sure the scalability, the user engagement, and it is a it's a very wide edge group in, in Pokemon. We just need to make sure that there, there's certain things that these company look for, and we need to tick all the boxes. Um, and we're working on it. Um, yeah, I mean, day and night. You know, I I I love the cartoon. It's one of the first property that i bought to new zealand i did extremely well on thanks to al um you know i was very fortunate to be part of the the initial growth of all the trading car craze and so on and still happening now i mean i just received my 25th anniversary limited edition pokemon trainer box you know yeah. um and you know I, I love the product i love the brand and I know our fans love it and it's crazy asking for it. Yeah, I, I, I'm working on it. Jeremy, you are a brand guru. You are like the goat. Like you brought Pokemon <laughs> to life here in the United States. Jeremy, are, are one of your brands partnered with Vivi? <laughs> well, <laughs> let's put it this way. Um, I don't know if I can answer anything that's a forward looking statement uh, on behalf of my organization because we we are tied into a publicly traded company or or really on behalf of anything that uh, is happening at VV. I will say this um, where I have excelled in the past is in developing companies around big brands and licenses. And currently we're the global partner for Pokemon, Fortnite, Roblox, Coco Melon. We own Squishmallows, which is one of the biggest plush brands in the world 
actually number one now. Um, and I've, I've worked on massive number of big kids and collector brands. What I have seen from Vivi, what I have seen from the team there um, is the most sophisticated approach and the earliest approach, both to the licensing universe and to the concept of building a company around third party licenses. Um, will there be more crossover with brands that, you know, that, that I am involved with? I, I wouldn't be shocked, but I certainly am not the one that could make those types of, uh, of, uh, announcements. Is that fair to say, Dan? Uh, no comment. <laughs> I think that's fair. <laughs> So just just for everybody in the crowd, that's your Pokemon answer. So stop DMing me about when Pokemon. <laughs> no. shit, damn it. That's your Listen, answer. That's that's the answer to everything. I mean, look, here's here, the the reality is that um, I will. Uh, you know, it's clear to me that it, in any marketplace that you walk into, you can assess who the leader is, who's signing the big licenses, who's driving the significant business, and markets often start out. Um, more monopolistic than fragmented because somebody got a jump. And, um, and then over the course of time, uh, the market gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's impossible to sustain with one company. But by the time it fully matures, you've got massive entities. That happened in toys over a long, long period of time. I'm thrilled that you know, we're part of that mix. Um, in, 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 the, in the NFT and the digital space, um, I don't think I've ever seen a company execute early with big organizations as effectively as Vivi and as effectively as Ecomi. Like they are uh, so far ahead of the general trend. And like I said, I've said this before, but three years ago when David and Dan and Al came in and we discussed it, um, I had no clue. Like it was so foreign to me, the concept of digital assets. And now it's just so clear, not just to me, but to everyone that spends any time understanding blockchain or understanding uh, where we're going in terms of the virtual economy and virtual goods. And um, so the, the net net of what I'm saying to you right now is I wouldn't be surprised with anything that these guys pull off because they actually have demonstrated success where a lot of other people are just barely dipping their toes in. Thank you, Jeremy. That, that was, man, that was, that was really awesome. And it shows to the Omi crew for, you know, doing it the way it's supposed to be done. Um, but my next question kind of piggybacks off of what Jeremy and Keel said prior to this. So one of my things, me personally, what caught my eye kind of in, invest, in an investing kind of way was your licensing. You guys have gotten great licenses through, you know, through different you know, companies and whatnot. So how did you guys kind of gain those licenses and what kind of licenses have you guys gained from certain companies? If you can mention what they are, we'd, we'd love it. Uh, basically, we sacrificed um, 10 years of our life by compressing it in one year. <laughs> And, uh, and you know, I think we sacrificed a few chickens or something along the way as well. <laughs> Definitely a chicken or two. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it was really a very gradual process. Um, you know, this g going back three or four years ago when we first approached the uh, initial licensors and, and obviously having somebody uh, on the team like Al, um, and for those of you who don't know, um, we're re referring to Alfred Kahn, uh, the man, the legend who basically brought Pokemon to the world as as you know it, uh, and he because of his uh, you know huge experience in the like, world he was able to connect us with uh, I guess I would say connect us with people further up the chain than if we were just sort of going in and and knocking on the door, <clears throat> um, and that was a bit of a blessing because I sort of found that you know the more higher up uh, people that we worked with uh, in the licensing agencies. They, you know, these guys are really thinking, they're not thinking about what's out on the shelves now because they were thinking about that three years ago. So they really were, uh, I guess I won't say open in the beginning, but they were at least considerate of the idea that, you know, everything's going digital. They know that. They know that people spend a lot of money in the digital space. And I guess our proposition to them was, <clears throat> you know, they don't really need to do much in terms of work. They just needed to give us a normal licensing deal like uh, like anything else. And then from there, <clears throat> David and I are very tenacious people. And we would fly back to the States 
uh, or where, where, wherever the licensors were, you know, once every two or three months, and we'd give them an update, show them the, the progress on the app, let them know what other licensors have signed on. And, you know, really over a two or three year period, <clears throat> uh, it, it just started to build and build. And we, and, you know, we started building up rapport with these guys and they really started to see the vision that we had. Um, and, and, and like I say, it was low risk for them. And I really do applaud all of the, the licensors who did come on with us early because, <clears throat> you know, we, we were just nobodies from nowhere with an idea. Um, and uh, and obviously, you know, the, those people who came on early early on um, have 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 also been blessed with the uh, success of, of VV's growth so far.